Chapter 6 They saw his small figure run down the middle of the ravine on the path. Oh, wait, please wait, the voice began to fail. I don't feel well. I can't run. Can't. Can't. Pipkin, everyone shouted, waving from the edge of the cliff. His figure was small, small, small. There were shadows mixed everywhere. Bats flew. Owls shrieked. Night ravens clustered like black leaves and trees. The small boy, running with his lit pumpkin, fell. Oh, gasped Moon Mound Shroud. The pumpkin light went out. Oh, gasped everyone. Light your pumpkin, Pip! Light it! shrieked Tom. He thought he saw the small figure scrabbling in the dark grass below, trying to strike a light. But in that instant of darkness, the night swept in. A great wing folded over the abyss. Many owls hooted. Many mice scampered and slithered in the shadows. A, t a million tiny murders happened somewhere. Light your pumpkin, Pip! Help! wailed his sad voice. A thousand wings flew away. A great beast beat the air somewhere like a thumping drum. The clouds, like gauzy scenes, were pulled away to set a clean sky. The moon was there, a great eye. It looked down upon an empty path, Pipkin nowhere to be seen. Way off toward the horizon, something dark frittered and danced and slithered away in the cold star air. Help! Help! wailed a fading voice. And then it was gone. Oh, mourned Mr. Mound Shroud. This is bad. I fear something has taken him away. Where, where, gibbered the boys, cold. To the undiscovered country, the place I wanted to show you. But now... You don't mean that thing in the ravine, it, or him, or whatever that something was. Death? Did he grab Pipkin and run? Oro is more like it. Perhaps to hold him for ransom, said Mount Shroud. Can death do that? Sometimes, yes. Oh gosh, Tom felt his eyes water. Pip, tonight, running slow, so pale. Pip, you shouldn't have come out. He shouted at the sky. But there was only wind there, and white clouds floating like old spirit fluff, and a clear river of wind. They stood, cold and shivering. They looked off to where the dark something had stolen their friend. So, said Mount Shroud, all the more reason for you to come along, lads. If we fly fast, maybe we can catch Pipkin, grab his sweet Halloween corn candy soul, bring him back, pop him in bed, toast him warm, and save his breath. What say, lads? Would you solve two mysteries in one? Search and seek for the lost Pipkin, and solve Halloween, all in one fell dark blow. They thought of All Hollows Night, and the billion ghosts a-wandering the lonely lanes and cold winds and strange smokes. They thought of Pipkin, no more than a thimbleful of boy and sheer summer delight, torn out like a tooth and carried off on a black tide of web and horn and black soot. And almost as one, they murmured, yes. Down shroud, sp shroud sprang. He ran, he pummeled, he pushed, he raved. Quick now, along this path, up this rise, and along this road. The abandoned farm, over the fence. Alley-oop! They leaped the fence, running, and stood by a barn that was frosted over with old circus posters. With banners tattered by the wind, pasted here, thirty, forty, fifty years back. Circuses passing through had left patches and swatches of themselves ten inches thick. A kite, boys, build a kite, quick, 